shutter speed, one of the three fundamentals of photography with the other two being aperture and the ISO. So shutter speed is the length of time the sensor of the camera is exposed to light. Technically it is the time required by the camera to be done with capturing a photo, flipping the mirror, exposing the sensor and repositioning the mirror all in fractions of a second. Shutter speed is measured in fractions of a second. A high shutter speed means a higher value as denominator and low shutter speeds mean lower denominator value. The higher the shutter speed, the lower the time the sensor is exposed to light. Like aperture and ISO, shutter speed also has control on the brightness of the photo. A low shutter speed results in a bright image as the sensor is allowed to collect light for a significant time period and high shutter speeds mean exactly the opposite. But there is a problem. While low shutter speed yields brighter images, it also offers blurred output as the main side effect. Because a camera captures every motion while it's exposed, it is strictly recommended to capture still objects in low speed setting or it can be used to create cool effects like light trail photos in the dark or to demonstrate that something is in motion. This effect is used quite often in advertisements of cars and motorbikes where it is necessary to bring a sense of speed and motion. Now let's come to high shutter speeds. Well, this one is also as important as the lower one. Once you set a high shutter speed, your camera is going to take pictures at lightning speed, meaning you'll be able to capture microscale details in fractions of seconds. This comes very much useful when the subject moves at high speed and you're required to freeze the motion. With the use of shutter speed as high as 2000th or 4000th of a second, the motion can be completely frozen, resulting in a beautiful image. Some high-end cameras are capable of even 8000th of a second shutter speed. Well, that is perfect for very fast objects. Head over to shutter priority mode from the toggle or the manual mode and experiment with the other settings like aperture, ISO, etc. Or check the links in the description below to learn more about those. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.